Longmire is known as a cowboy drama which is normally very serious. But there are some very funny moments in the show that fans just have to see. Walt Longmire, the main character, has a dry sense of humor that is really fun to watch. The relationships in the show and the running jokes add so much to this series, and those are exactly what we will be exploring here today. But be warned, mild spoilers ahead. Walt in the books versus the series. As most fans know, the Longmire television series is based on the Walt Longmire Mysteries, a series of novels written by Craig Johnson. They may be similar in name, but there are loads of differences between the series and the books they came from. One of the things that fans really love about the books is their humor. Sadly, that doesn't always translate onto the screen. For the screen version of Walt Longmire, the writers have made him more of a straight-laced good old country boy that would fit into most old western movies. But that is probably what makes it even funnier when he has quips that come out of nowhere. The writers of this show were brilliant when it came to adding subtle humor that still retains Walt's strong, silent type persona. He might be different from the books, but fans love him just the same on screen. Walt and his injuries. A running joke is all of the times that Walt was hurt in the series and the way he explains those injuries. He always explains the very obvious, a fact that seems to drive Vic insane. Like when he's asked what happened to his hand, Walt's response? Hurt it. But when he had a big nosebleed and something obviously big caused it, when asked what happened to his nose, he answers, it started bleeding. I mean, I get it. Walt is a man of few words and he wouldn't be going off and telling a long story about how he injured himself, or more likely for this show, how someone else injured him. It's funny in the TV series because it's predictable and the audience loves to wait for Walt's witty, dry remark. His avoidant behavior makes the audience chuckle, but can you imagine having to live with someone who actually responded like that to your questions when something big or violent had happened? Like when Vic asked Walt what happened to him when he was clearly shot in later seasons. He started to answer that he was shot when she cut him off, saying, and if you say you got shot, so help me, I'll punch you. Got to love a woman who can read a guy's mind, but it could have been worse, I guess. He could be the type of character who complains about getting injured all the time, and considering the fact that Walt is hurt all the time, it's a good thing he can handle it well. Traffic in the state. The fictional Absaroka County that Walt is sheriff for is very much part of rural Wyoming, even though it isn't actually real. It looks like much of the state with its stunning landscapes, wide open pastures, and dirt roads, which means not a lot of traffic to deal with. That's why it's so funny when they make jokes about traffic in the state. Normally, traffic jams involve some sort of animal that's blocking the road, like when Walt and Vic are on their way to get a bad guy over state lines and into the custody and jurisdiction of others. They want to do it as quickly as possible. He had created enough issues in the county, and they wanted him gone. But they didn't factor in the traffic that would keep them much longer than anticipated. That time traffic came in the form of a big angry bull that was blocking the road and didn't seem to be in any hurry to get out of their way. Against Walt's advice, Vic tries to chase him off, only to make him much angrier. It was a fun storyline to watch, and made great use of the dry humor used often on the show. Moments between Walt and Henry. Walt and Henry are best friends, and like brothers, but that doesn't mean they don't fight. In fact, most of the time, they don't stop arguing or giving each other a hard time. But some of the funniest moments from the show usually happen when Walt and Henry are together. Like the time Walt kept insisting that Henry should tase him. Henry doesn't want to at first, but eventually he complies, and Walt just drops suddenly to the ground. I'm not entirely sure I would believe Henry if he said he didn't enjoy it at least a little bit. They're always being sarcastic, or giving each other witty one-liners, and it has to be the relationship on the show that I ship the most often, even when they don't want to show how much they care. Another really funny moment came when Henry was being held hostage, and the bad guys asked Walt what Henry's worth to him. At first, Walt is all sweet saying that he's known Henry since he was a boy, indicating that he cares about Henry and he's an important friend. Then, the next thing you know, he follows up with, he only has $20 on him. This earns Walt an exacerbated look from Henry. Later, after disarming the criminal and saving Henry, Walt says that he couldn't allow the guy to take his truck. Doesn't that much love give you the warm and fuzzies? There are still loads of funny moments from Longmire coming up, so sit tight as we check out some more funny moments, including those between Walt and Vic. The moment between Walt and Katie that left fans 
patterns and stitches, and so much more. Katie and Walt Longmire was great at portraying the relationship between father and daughter in a realistic way. Katie and Walt adore each other most of the time, but they are also the people who can seriously push each other's buttons, and that can lead to a lot of funny moments. One of my favorite has to be the time when Walt found out Katie is working at the Red Pony bar part-time. He was not happy about it, and they argued about it more than once. But of course, Katie is just as stubborn as Walt and just as strong-willed. There was no way she was going to allow her dad to tell her where she can and can't work. She kept working there until she had to admit to her father that one of the hot guys that she was serving at the bar was potentially a hitman. The smile that Walt had when he tells her, this is the type of people you come across working at a bar, told fans that he enjoyed the moment way too much. Not that he always gets his way by any means, there are some great moments when he has to admit that Katie's right. They are so much alike, and she is the only one that can ever really replace him. The bond between the two of them is very special in its own way. Vic and Walt Victoria Moretti is not a lady that will put up with Walt's nonsense. The two of them have awesome chemistry, but also butt heads. A lot. There are times that Walt asks like a child, and Vic can make it clear what she thinks of his behavior without even having to say a word. Like when he spits out his medicine, and Vic just calmly stops and retrieves it without arguing with him, knowing it was a lost cause. Or the moment fans had been waiting for when Vic finally kissed Walt. Who would have believed they could make it funny? Right after the kiss, Walt collapses. The first thing he asks when he wakes up? If she's gonna kiss him again. Way to make it awkward. But it's not just each other they mess with. Sometimes they team up to mess with other people too. Right from the start, they made a great team. In the pilot, they were grilling a ranch hand to get information about a missing girl. After Walt questions the ranch hand about who he was out in the pasture with, he denies that there was anyone else. Then Vic responds, just you and a herd of soft, compliant sheep? The implication was pretty unexpected and really funny. The two are great together, and I love that she is the one saving him time after time. Henry and his girlfriend. Henry is extremely serious most of the time, but I had to give an honorable mention to a funny moment between Henry and his girlfriend. His telephone lines are tapped by the police when his girlfriend phones him. He warns her that the police are listening into his calls. Recording the call and Dina answers, bet they are, because what she wants to do is a little risky. It was a hilarious moment, and thinking about the normally straight-laced Henry flirting was really funny. Walt and technology. And then finally, we have to mention the biggest running joke in the show, the fact that Walt does not understand technology. People are always teasing him when he's behind a computer, or there are loads of funny moments that just come from him trying to use his phone. For a guy that's not scared of anything, a piece of tech sure does frighten him. We hope you enjoyed this video highlighting some of the best things about the Longmire TV series. Are there any memorable, funny moments from Longmire you want to share? Doesn't it make you miss the show even more? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.